Looking for some solid investment ideas in this crazy stock market? Want to have some clarity in the noise? Would you like to know what the greatest all-time investor is buying and selling? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Warren Buffett has built up a fortune worth $80 billion through investing, and that's after already giving away billions of dollars to charity. He's the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway Inc., a $500 billion by market cap conglomerate. And within Berkshire Hathaway, he controls a common stock portfolio worth over $200 billion. Starting out as a child and now nearing 90 years old, Warren Buffett has been investing for practically his entire life. And he can lay claim to average annual returns of around 20% since the mid 60s. There's simply no one else out there who's been that successful for that long with investing. As such, it's always insightful to see what the Oracle of Omaha is doing with his capital. We recently put together a 4,000 word plus special report on all of Berkshire Hathaway's second quarter moves within their common stock portfolio. And today's video is going to expand on some of those thoughts and go over some overriding themes that played out for Berkshire Hathaway over the second quarter. Let's dig in. We put a video together back in May discussing Buffett's moves during Q1 2020. And it was in that video that I noted a theme that had played out for Berkshire Hathaway during the first quarter. That theme was liquidity. Due to the uncertainty regarding the pandemic and how that would affect the US economy generally and Berkshire Hathaway specifically, Buffett was extremely cautious during the first quarter of this year, selling much more stock than buying. With hindsight being 2020, we can see that this caution cost Berkshire Hathaway some amazing opportunities to buy quality businesses on the cheap. Well, we know now what Berkshire Hathaway was doing for the second quarter of 2020, and it looks pretty similar to what they were doing during Q1. By the way, make sure to check out our massive special report that goes over all the Berkshire Hathaway's Q2 buys and sells. For this quarter, there was much more selling than buying, once more, especially in bank stocks, which have long been a favorite of Buffett's. All in, Berkshire Hathaway had five buys and 17 sells last quarter. By my math, they were a net seller on equities on the order of more than $12 billion. But I don't think the theme this quarter is one of liquidity. Berkshire Hathaway is already plenty liquid. The theme for this quarter is that of legacy. Buffett is coming up on 90 years old, and I believe he's starting to seriously think about his role at this point in time being more of a capital caretaker and one who shepherds in the next generation of managers to run Berkshire Hathaway. When we look at what Berkshire Hathaway has been doing over the course of 2020, it's basically been Buffett significantly reducing many of his long-standing positions within Berkshire Hathaway's $200 billion plus common stock portfolio. When you're say 30 years old, you're thinking mostly about what you can build, but at 90, I imagine Buffett is thinking much more about what he can protect and pass down. Buffett's lieutenants, Todd Combs and Ted Weschler, are each managing a substantial amount of capital for the portfolio. And it seems only logical that the capital pendulum will continue to swing their way moving forward. That might not be what Buffett files and Berkshire Hathaway shareholders want to hear, but I can't imagine Buffett is itching to be overly aggressive at 90 years old with a major pandemic sweeping across the world and impacting the myriad of Berkshire Hathaway businesses. All that said, I do want to highlight one particular transaction is very interesting, and that was the purchase of more shares in Store Capital Corp, stock ticker STOR. This is an internally managed net lease real estate investment trust that owns over 2,500 properties across the United States with over 470 different tenants in over 100 different industries. Berkshire Hathaway's addition to their store position is my favorite move of theirs from Q2. And that's because I was also adding to my position in store around the $15 a share level. This high quality REIT has been operating extremely well throughout the crisis. The stock dropped almost 70% peak to trough, as if 70% of their properties had suddenly disappeared or become worthless. 
You have to be greedy when others are fearful, and investors were sure fearful over this stock a few months ago. It has rebounded somewhat, now trading hands for around $26 a share, but I still think it's pretty attractive on a valuation basis. They just recently reported $0.44 cents in adjusted funds from operations per share for their second quarter results. If we extrapolate out these depressed results, the stock still sells very cheaply at less than 15 times annual adjusted funds from operations per share. It's likely that results will rebound, which makes the stock even cheaper than that. And it yields over 5% right now. Notably, unlike other REITs out there, store capital never cut its dividend. Buffett has seven decades of investing excellence under his belt. There's no reason to overextend oneself at this stage in life. He has nothing left to prove. If there were a Mount Rushmore for investors, Buffett would be up there. But for those of us who aren't a 90-year-old billionaire with a legacy to contend with and the shepherding of a $500 billion conglomerate into the hands of the next generation, I think it's important to take advantage of depressed valuations across high-quality dividend growth stocks. As for which stocks to potentially buy, make sure to follow the channel. We're regularly putting out videos on quality long-term investment ideas. If we could all end up being 90 years old and so successful, what a life to have. Meanwhile, we have to continue striving forward, putting our hard-earned capital to work, achieve financial freedom, and make our dreams come true. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about Buffett's recent moves. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also be sure to check the description box below for some important links, including a link to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and am often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.